Okay, um, apologies for the late start here, but it's great to be back with folks. Um, I uh, so regretted um, not being able to meaningfully participate uh, in last week's sessions, um, ably led by Xia Yan. Um, but uh, it's wonderful um, uh, to be able to be with you today. Um, last week, you'll recall that we covered a lot of important material, um, including uh, discussions of uh, the uh, basics of stockflow.jls encoding of uh, stock and flow diagrams, right? Um, and uh, importantly, structured multi-coast bands and their their uh, composition. Um, Shayan, in talking about those, also introduced undirected wiring diagrams and the fact that in going to structured multi-coast bands, we're going to what's sometimes said to be a less biased. Um, one that doesn't privilege two feet for a, a, a coast band and one that is undirected where we don't assume a input and output. But at the same one, at the same time, we can capture a notion of composition. You recall that when we started talking about structured coast bands, we we talked about them in a powerful, in a powerful idea of talking about being able to compose them as arrows in a category. Do you remember that? Um, where there are morphisms in a category. And we have a codomain and a domain, so input, output, and another one end to end, you know, one from A to B and one from B to C. And we can compose them to be from A to C. That was part of the draw of structured coast bands. But with structured multi coast bands, um, we we can get this advantage of composition as well, but without imposing this notion of of uh, directionality that they go from something to something. Mm -hmm. Um, and Shayan didn't, you know, judiciously she um made the. The, the the good choice, I think, of not going into all the mathematics of the underlying constructs called operands, but introduce this notion of, of uh, at a at a sort of um, utilitarian level or or pragmatic level, uh, this notion of operand, uh, and we have these kind of bubbles, and we can compose things into a bigger bubble, um, and. It's it's a rigorous, honest to goodness composition, um, in a more sophisticated way than just uh, end to end composition, but in a way that's also at once more flexible as well as kind of uh, less privileging, two legs more flexible and more um, uh, and 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 allowing us to uh, to capture. Uh, a more undirected way of affiliating these things. So today, um, Shayan is going to be leading us for most of the day on discussion of uh, another really powerful topic, which is stratification. But before that, I wanted to go through the exercise. Are we good with this? And uh, I'm a bit of a bad boy in the sense that I didn't load uh, up the um, uh, the solution that I prepared. And so I'm just going to do that right now so you can all download it if you're interested in doing so. And we're going to go through it quickly, but it, we're going to try to spend mo no more than 15 minutes um, doing that. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of rip rip through uh, this so that Shayan can get to the goodies with the uh, discussion of of uh, stratification. Are we good with this? Okay, so I am posting my solution here 
um, not my solution, it's our solution to this exercise. Uh, Cheyenne, after all, help me with it. Um, uh, to the exercise, it's now posted and it's down there on it's, oh, oh gosh, I called it. Okay, let me, let me give it a better name. I gave it a name that's a terrible name. Um, so I'm gonna call it, I called it 12 under bar, but it's really 14 under bar. Cause, oops. oh, it's 12? Just 13 is the certification. I didn't oh, yo, yo, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, yes, you're right, it is 12, okay. Okay, well, it's, I guess it's a good name. Okay, um, okay, replace, boom. Okay, it's posted, yeah. Um, exercise book, yeah. And I guess I'll move Cheyenne's 13 down below. There we go. Okay, now there's order upon the world. Okay, so uh, let's go through this little exercise uh, that you attempted at home, and we'll see one way to deliver on it. Okay, so I'm going to, to this end, I'm going to share my screen. And this exercise is going to walk us through practical use of structure multi post bands together with undirected wiring diagrams to compose causal loops. Are we good with this? Okay, so on, I'm executing from the top, we're importing a swack of stuff, and we define our schema for primitive causal loop diagrams. We've gone over this many times before. Um, uh, and I'd remind you that uh, uh, we have um, objects for variables for link, you know, plus links and minus links, and then we have uh, labels for the variables, right? Um, and we can visualize it here. Um, and we have some um, need to describe a uh, sort of generic uh, uh, instance uh, uh, as an as an AC set type, um, and we can instantiate it for for strings being the labels. Um, and uh, and now what we're going to do is reflect on this causal loop diagram that we're going to be building. But I I task you also with having a, an extra pathway one from nicotine addiction uh, through frequency of smoking and to time spent around, uh, around other smokers, right? Okay, so we're gonna define, we've gone through a variant of this before, so I'm gonna define causal loop diagrams for each of these, these loops. Are we good with that? Yeah. And then we're gonna define the pathway that I told you, which I haven't visualized here. Um, uh, but involves those two positive links and and then we'll deal with the the um, substance of of this, which is defining the structured multi coast bands and defining the undirected wiring diagram um, uh, algebra, and then applying them. Okay, so uh, we've been through this before, so I'm going to define each of these loops and and happy things are produced uh, involving. Uh, the loops encoding each of these successive loops in turn that are going to allow us to build up this, this cause loop diagram out of these pieces for the loops. And then finally, we're going to have that pathway that we're going to define from nicotine addiction with a plus link to frequency of smoking um, and from the frequency of smoking with a plus link to time spent around other smokers. Um, uh, so here we go, and uh, it's it's going to be down here, um, and here we are. Here's the pathway, three variables in it, uh, the, the nicotine addiction, frequency of smoking, time spent around other smokers, and we have a link from the first to the second and the second to the third, and both those are plus links, no minus links. And here are the labels for the uh, vertices. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Um, and here we go. Summarizing it as a little database. And here it is uh, with its linear form and all its glory. Okay. Um, so uh, now we're going to get to the substance of the matter. We're going to define, first of all, a type uh, open AC set types 
that is going to uh, know about that when we have feet, we're going to be defining them in terms of a in fin set, um, a, 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 a set like zero, one, two, three, four, uh, for variables, right? And, and we know it's associated with variables within this broader schema where we have variables in L plus and L link, L minus, when we have a foot that's like the set three, zero, you know, one, two, three, we know it means three variables. We good with that? Um, I think we've seen it before, but I'm just reminding you. And then we have some things that make sure that it works for, a, for it, it knows that labels are strings uh, for this open AC set type, right? Um, so we're gearing up to, we need that open AC set type to define the structured multi coast bands. Now we're going to define the first structured multi coast band. Now, um, uh, you could criticize me, and rightly so, um, for saying this uh, structured multi coast band, be, for singling out as such, because the truth is it's also a structured coast band. It only has two legs, two feet. Um, and, and it, um, it, it, it's actually not in its form doesn't inherently distinguish it from a structured coast band. You could think of this as the input, think of that as the output, but you'll notice before they went both to smoking because we wanted to, we needed to privilege smoking so that we could compose around smoking with a structured coast band. Now I provide a link to for the smoking addiction thing, we have one for smoking variable and one for the addiction, nicotine addiction. We want, want to be able to peer into it and find both, okay? Don't be distracted that this is treated here as an output. We're going to treat it as uh, a structured multi coast band with two legs. Are we okay with this? So we're going to have one way of getting one foot, one way of get, or one way of getting one foot for one variable, one foot for the other variable. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that for each of the loops. Okay, so we we define that happy happy. Oh oh no no, uh twelve. Oh I changed it. Oh my goodness. Okay um. Okay okay now we do the same thing for the social network, but here we have an honest to goodness. Distinguished structure multi coast band. See that? We have three feet. Uh, imagine that. Um, one for variable one, exposing to the world as the handle by which other things can can grab on and, and dock with this, identified with it. Um, one variable one, variable two in it, variable three. This is a social network, right? Um, um and uh and so we have one for each of those variables uh and then we have one for the third loop too and this has again three variables in it and we we expose each of the variables in it so we can we can plug things into them are we good with this so now we have a lot of flexibility we're no longer input and output both being smoking and everything has to kind of link into smoking and it's it's kind of rigid and 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 awkward now now we've exposed for each of those of those uh feedbacks each of the variables within it can be something we can plug into into which we can plug mm -hmm. and that gives us great flexibility for mixing and matching these different things we're not privileging two feet. We're not privileging one variable like smoking as the thing around which everything has to plug. Um, okay. Um, and now we declared the pathway. And this has three variables in it, so we have three legs. Are we good? Okay. Um, okay, now I define a little draw thing. Cheyenne tells me I don't have to really do this. Oh, man, I, I have some... <laughs> okay, I was debugging it last night, uh, and so I have some tests here, um, which involve partial, just doing the first two loops, and 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 this is 
this is hideous. So Shayana, I should be able to do two graphs or no, or maybe not. Oh, there. Oh, what a thing of beauty. So you're supposed to have the name. I know I'm supposed to have the name. Yeah. Um, so pick your poison. I I um I don't have stock flow loaded. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um so if we had stock flow loaded, we could show it. But um yeah, we, we wish we had uh, a name. I know Shayan, you give me the code. Yeah. Um okay, okay. So maybe I'll Shayan is uh, giving me the secret sauce here. Um, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Comma, good, good, good. Okay, box, underbar, labels, e equals, colon, name? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's actually called V label, isn't it? Or label? Labels. I think it's this is a key, key word. But a colon name is what? Like colon name, I think it's the box name. Okay. But like does this have to be capital V variable? Because that's what I said no, and no, no, that's different. Okay. Okay. And then edge atfers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, folks, but but this is the goodies uh for how to do this in a slicker way. So no, it'll pay off aesthetically, hopefully. And then this points to what? This this is bound to to one in and then a second thing here. Okay. Oh no. 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 Same. Uh, okay. See it says uh mumble mumble. Uh I yeah. I think like does this have to be variable? Oh uh, no. Um it's it's an unhappy camper. Um okay. Yeah, so um yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Well oh sorry, actually S. Yes. Oh at for S? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Also, you can change. What it gained in. What it gained in. And also, you can change the lens value to make it longer. Oh. Okay. So, like five. No. No. Fifty. Uh. 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 Um. Okay. Well, in any case. Um. We can live with it. Yeah. It's 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 not the worst thing we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and and the key thing is we're going to be doing all plot, but I'm going to skip down here just because I want to I want to keep this short to the to the real meal deal. Okay. Um, and uh, we're going to go down to line. Um, do do do. Uh. uh we're going to go down to, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I'm, I'm screwing up. Where's our declaration Declaration of the UWD algebra here? Um, or, or somehow I'm, I'm missing it. I'm, I'm sort of screwing everything up by, by scrolling around here. Um, here it is. Okay, line 63. Sorry, line 63 here. Are we, are we synced up on this? Line 63, can you get to line 63? Is that a yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, line 63. So here we're going to define an algebra, okay? And this algebra states how we're going to build up the whole out of its pieces. What, what are the, so this whole is, is built up out of sort of operators for each of its sub pieces. Mm -hmm. And those operators are not solitudes. They have some things in common, like they have smoking in common for all these. Nicotine addiction here, it's the same as nicotine addiction here. But fundamentally, this whole is built up out of pieces. Um, uh, 
each of which is configured in a certain way. And so we have one causal loop diagram, the Nicodian addiction one with the social network causal loop diagram, and we have the smoking and health one. And then we have a pathway here. Are we good with this? So let's let's define this UWD algebra, okay? Um, and this UWD algebra is defining a recipe for kind of being able to turn amongst other things, one, these set of things, given this, we can get out the, the whole, okay? Um, and uh, so these are sort of the pieces of the recipe and we can cook ourselves up a, 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 a composite thing. We're not yet enacting the recipe, we're, we're saying how to do it. And we can draw out that UWD algebra and what it lacks in, Grace and beauty, it makes up for in utility. So we have these four pieces. They have they share components, right? Like these two share this pathway in nicotine addiction, share in nicotine addiction, uh, nicotine addiction and smoking health. These two causal loop diagrams share smoking, for example, etc. Are we good with this? And we will seek to define how to beautify that at a suitable time. Okay. And now we take this UW, this undirected wiring gam, a diagram algebra, and we're going to apply it to a very specific case, to very specific information, namely to these structured multi co spans. So those are going to fill in each of these bubbles here. Mm -hmm. So this UWD algebra says how to turn the sub bubbles into the entire bubble, gives that recipe. And now we're going to be specifying what to fill in this bubble with. And what do we put into this bubble internally? For each of these bubbles, we're going to put some specific causal loop diagram. Are we good with that idea? So we're going to stick something here here, here, and here, and we're gonna get something out for the whole. We good with this? Okay, hearing no objection. Um, I am going to go down to the O apply, which is our ticket for doing that. Okay, here we go. So we're applying the UWD algebra and we're gonna be filling in the sub bubbles within it with these things. The structure co spans, structured multi co spans, which just yearn to be put together in this very flexible way to be wired up for these different variables, not just smoking anymore, but also nicotine addiction and time spent around other smokers. And we're going to use those to fill in each of the sub bubbles, right? This is much more powerful than before where we we were we only linked around the okay no don't skip the fix again okay here we go um where we only linked around smoking now we're linking like around nicotine addiction and linking around smoking and time spent around other smokers um we're, we're, we're able to plug those all together because of the structured multi co spans. Are we good with this? So having done that, let's 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 do that here. Okay, boom. And I'll try to resist the temptation to zip around in here. And now we've composed them, right? Um, it's a uh, little. Well, very elegant thing. We're applying the UWD algebra, filling in each of these sub bubbles, and we're getting one for the whole thing. Are we good with that? Okay, now we're going to look at the result and we're going to look at it. And what sort of thing is this result going to be? You tell me. What is it going to be? Is it going to be a causal loop diagram? Is it going to be a, you know, a structured co span? Is it going to be a, uh, uh, schema. What is it going to be? That's a structural, structured multi co span that comes up. We fill in the sub bubbles. We, by extension, get 
a structured multi-coast ban for the whole. It fills in the bubble for everything that's needed for the whole thing. And this is a structured multi-coast ban that pops up. Are we good with that? So since it's a structured multi-coast ban, you'll recall that it has an apex, right? It has this apex, and then it has these many feet, like an octopus, right? Right? Um, and we're going to look at what's at its apex up at the top. And what lives at the apex of the structured multi-coast band? What sort of thing lives there? What lives at the apex? It's a, it's a, Puzzle diagram, right? It's a CISA. It's a CISA. So at the apex, remember we have the feet live in a category A in general, and they're associated with category A. The apex is associated with category X. And at any one time, we have L of the feet that lives in, in the category X, and there's a morphism, a homomorphism in category X to the apex, right? Um, or we can hit the apex with, with the R functor, the forgetful functor, and operate in A and deal with a homomorphism in category A. Here we're dealing with category X, right? The fancier category, right? Um, and so we're going to plot out in that fancier category. That's an honest to goodness causal loop diagram. Look at it. Look at it. Causal loop diagram. How many variables does it have? Seven. And how many plus links? Seven. And how many minus links? Three, exactly. And here we can plot it out and we will see a thing of beauty. You see that? So we have these three loops, but now we have some more complex structure involving this extra pathway, which kind of reaches over across loops. And I won't go into exactly how to unpack this in terms of this. We obviously need, um, you know, the sort of mechanism stock flow.jl has to, to have sort of more tailored display for things like cost loop diagram. But I think you see that we've accomplished our goal. Are we good with this? Okay. So that was that exercise. Any question about that? Okay. Operads, there's a beautiful story around operads. Operads play a really big role when it comes to hierarchical composition, you know, filling in the pieces to get the whole. And um and, and that expands our notion of composition beyond just end-to-end -end morphism composition. And we take advantage of it well here. Mm -hmm. Operads are a thing of beauty. Um, and allowing us to build up those pieces hierarchically um, towards the outer component. And we use O apply to go from the things to fill in the sub bubbles to get something for the whole. We good? Okay, so that's the end of, yeah. Yes. Like when you added the smoking, uh, frequency of smoking to mm. the, uh, mm. the operator, the Right? Yeah. Can you I mean, when I'm defining a structure cost band? Can you just uh, define a thing that has five variables, like it's a loop, right? From uh, nic nicotine. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Can I do that? Right. I think what you're saying, uh, which is if we go back up to the to here, mm -hmm. that because this link goes here and then here, um. There's actually, uh, you could think of there as being uh, inducing a loop. Yeah. In, in fact, it, it does induce a loop, right? Where there's going to be one from here to here, here to here, here to here, et cetera. And I think what you're saying is, could I have built this up in a different way yeah. with adding another loop and unifying those? And the answer is yes. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I mean, uh, let's let's remember this notion of commuting square. You, you get the same result going this way and this way as you do going that way and that way. It's um, that we're capturing the essential mathematics of it, the essential 
ways in which it, the mathematical structure is captured. And so we can choose how to describe it different ways and we get the same mathematical result. And that's that affords us great flexibility. We're not, we're not, you know, just forever doomed for them to be incompatible. They they have the same logical result. They give us the same the same mathematical result. And and that's um as it should be. Mm -hmm. So we have our choice. We can pick our path. We get to the same destination. And that's a thing of beauty in my, in my view. It's something that recommends this method. Are we good with this? Yeah. Um, great question, Ucha. And yes, you can, you can arrive at, you know, performing it in different ways and get the same result. Okay. We good? Okay. Now I'll, now I'll hand it over to the real master who's the least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna stop this, or or do you, I'll stop this 